Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show how we can set a default project for Autodesk Vault 2012. This is a new functionality we haven't had before, but first, let's see what happens when we don't have a default project set. I'm going to start out in my Vault Explorer, and I'm going to copy a design, something I've been able to do for quite some time now. I'll choose my assembly, I'll right click and choose Copy Design, and we see that we get this error, and if we expand that out, it tells me that there's, in effect, there's no project set. So how do we set that project? The first way is at the user level. I browse to the location where I have a project, right click on it, and choose Set Inventor Project File. That's one way. The way I prefer to do it is at the administrative level. Logged in as an administrator, I go to Tools, Administration and Vault Settings, and then go to the Working Folder area where I can set a default project file. I'll go ahead and browse out and choose my project file. I'll set it, and now the administrator has it set, and that's what it's going to be for all users. Now I go back, repeat my steps to copy the design. Vault thinks a little bit as it gathers up that information, and now copy design works. So there's an example of how we can set the default project file for Autodesk Vault, and then what happens when it isn't set as well. That's it. Thanks for watching.